Welcome to Job Form, how to convert your form submission data into a PDF document. Let's go ahead and select one of the forms that we want to work with. In this case, we'll select Form 1. We'll click on More, select Create PDF Document, and this will open up the PDF Editor. Now let's select the document name. In this case, we'll just say New Doc, and we have two options for layout. We have Top Align and Side by Side. We'll look at those in a bit, and you can change them later on if you like. In this case, we'll select Top Align. Now this is the PDF editor and on the right we have the PDF layout settings. So for example, if you want to select the template that's available right here, you can select one of these and start working with them. Or we can just customize the one we have already. We have background color, background images, page settings for the size, the layout in this case we'll select landscape layout. We have the questions alignment, so we've selected top, you can see right here. We have the top name and on the bottom is the field that has been filled already on the form. We can select left and now we have the name on the left and on the filled form on the right. We'll select top for now. We have the font family if we want to select that. Font size, bold, italic, text colors, line spacing, PDF file name, and many, many more options. Now on the left, we have the elements. First off, let's start with the form fields. These are elements that have been brought from the form that's been created previously. So we have the form name, which says form one. We have the name field, contact, field, how did you find this field, and email. These are all brought from the form that, that has been created previously. And then we have the basic elements. If we want to add more information to this PDF, we can add right here. So for example, we can add an image to the top, select that, and we'll click on the gear icon to edit the options for this element that we've selected. Let's go into my images, we'll select this logo right here. Let's crop it in a bit by selecting on the bottom right corner. And then we have the options for each field that we have available on the PDF editor. So if I select this right here, we have the options for the background color of this. We have we can upload a file if we like, for example, the image or one of the images that we have already. Enter the URL or we can edit this. For example, for now, it says form one, which doesn't look attractive. We could say PDF document for form one. Okay, that could be changed. On the top, we have the date, which is a variable, which is the submission date setting. If you delete any of these variables right here, we can find them on the form elements on the left. So for example, we got the form title, submission date, submission ID, and submission IP. Now, if we wanna edit any of, the, of these fields to align them, we click on them and it opens up a square box. If I click on the corner, I can drag this to make it smaller, and I can drag this other one and make it smaller also so I can later on play with these and put them in the right place if I want to align them in a different way. Now let's just say I want to add something to this. We have other available options. So you got images, line, let's just line break right here. If we want to add a signature to it, we can add it there. And we have empty spaces and boxes for making it bigger or we have page break. So for example, we just want to add an empty space. We can add it there and it brings down the signature for that one. Okay. So it's super easy. If you want to get rid of this one, you can click on it and delete it if you don't like it. Now, this is the PDF editor. Now, what would we, would we do with this PDF once we create it? If you're happy with the PDF that you just edit, we can now go ahead and download it. Now, if I click on download, it will download the current PDF. Or if I want to download all, that means that all the submissions will be downloaded. Now, if you want to view other submissions, you can click on the top right here and you have other submissions that you want to work with. For example, if I click on this one, it's a different data, so it updates, and I can view this data also. And that is how you work with the PDF editor to convert your form submission data into a PDF document. Thank you for watching.